Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for August 27th, 2022. In New York, it was announced that Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan will co-chair the first annual Caring for Women Dinner on September 15, 2022, in New York City. Her Majesty will join previously announced co-chairs, including Mrs. Selma Hayek Pinot, Mr. Francoise Henri Pinot, Ms. Giselle Bunchen, Ms. Latani Richardson Jackson, Mr. Samuel L. Jackson, and Ms. Gloria Steinem, to name a few. Hosted by Anderson Cooper, the Caring for Women Dinner will benefit Her Majesty's organization, the Jordan River Foundation, JRF, which was established in 1995 with a focus on child safety and community empowerment. The JRF joins other Caring for Women Dinner beneficiaries, including the National Network to End Domestic Violence, Ms. Foundation for Women, and the Global Fund for Women. 100% of the proceeds from the event will benefit these four organizations. In Amsterdam, it was announced that Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, in her capacity as the United Nations Secretary General Special Advocate for Inclusive Finance and as Honorary President of the G20 Global Partnership for Inclusive Finance, will visit New Delhi, India from August 29th to 30th, 2022. In Oslo, the Norwegian Royal Court announced that Their Majesties King Harald V and Queen Sonia of Norway will attend Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark's Golden Jubilee celebrations on September 10th through the 11th, 2022. Their Majesties will be joining other foreign royals who have recently confirmed their attendance, including Their Majesties King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden. On Saturday, September 10th, Foreign royals, along with Nordic heads of states and members of the Danish royal family, will attend a gala performance at the Royal Theatre in Copenhagen in honor of Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee. Her Majesty, naturally, will arrive by carriage. On Sunday, foreign royals, Nordic heads of state, members of the Danish royal family, and government officials will attend a gala dinner in honor of Her Majesty to be held at Christiansborg Slot in Copenhagen. Yesterday afternoon in Shan, Her Serene Highness Princess Sophie of Liechtenstein visited the construction site for the new in Zentrum Shan, which means downtown Shan. Apparently, the construction site is complete, so everyone, including the princess, came together to have a topping out ceremony where they watched the last beam be put into place in the big building in downtown Shan, or in Zentrum Shan. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, it was confirmed that Her Royal Highness Princess Abigail Kawananakoa is gravely ill and was recently admitted to the Queen's Medical Center in downtown Honolulu. According to Hawaii-based journalist Miss Demby Fawcett, the 96-year-old princess and heiress to the Campbell estate fell at her home, which caused her already fragile condition to, quote, deteriorate, end quote. She has been unwell since she suffered a stroke in 2017. Several days ago, items from Princess Abigail's home in Punalu'u were put up for auction on the website Island Bid Auctions. The description says as follows, quote, Clearing contents of Princess Abigail Kawanakoa's historic Punalu'u summer home, which was previously owned by her great-grandfather, James Campbell. The prominent house once graced the base of Diamond Head and was later disassembled and floated to its current location in Punalu'u. Items include koa furniture pieces, original artwork, books, china, kitchenware, wooden bowls, and a vast array of unique items. More items will be added later. Auction ends October 2nd, 2022. End quote. Princess Abigail is a great grandniece of the late Their Majesties King Kalakaua and Queen Kapiolani of Hawaii, not Hawaii, Hawaii. King Kalakaua was the last king of Hawaii, and his sister, Queen Liliuokalani, was Hawaii's last queen. Princess Abigail's mother was Princess Lydia Liliuokalani Kawananakoa Morris, and her father was Dr. William Jeremiah Ellibrock. According to the book Who Owns the Crown by John Van Dyke, at the age of six, Princess Abigail was adopted by her grandmother, Princess Abigail Campbell Kawananakoa, in the Hawaiian tradition of Hanai, with the intention that she remains a direct heir to a possible restoration of the Kingdom of Hawaii. And finally, on this day in royal history, in 1891, 
His Royal Highness Prince John Owen, the Prince Consort of Hawaii, died of pneumonia at the age of 59 at Washington Place, the home that his father built in 1842. Born John Owen Dominus on March 10, 1832 in Schenectady, New York, he was a son of Captain John Dominus and Mary Lambert Dominus. On April 23, 1837, the family arrived in Honolulu, Hawaii from New York. Prior to his marriage to a then Princess Liliuokalani, John Owen Dominus was appointed the royal governor of Oahu and Maui by His Majesty King Kamehameha V of Hawaii. On September 16, 1862, the couple were married. On August 28, 1891, a gala ball and state dinner was scheduled to be held at Iolani Palace ahead of Her Majesty Queen Liliuokalani's birthday on September 2, but after the sudden passing of the prince consort, the gala was postponed. In 1979, Lord Louis Francis Albert Victor Nicholas Mountbatten, 1st Earl Mountbatten of Burma, was assassinated by Thomas McMahon, a member of the IRA. In 2005, Prince Peter Christian of Aranya Nassau van Bollenhoven married Miss Anita van Eich at the Grotta of St. Jorgenskirk in Norddeich. Prince Peter Christian is the third son of Her Highness Princess Marguerite of the Netherlands and Professor Peter van Bollenhoven. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Sunday, August 28th with all the latest royal news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. Okay, take care everyone. Bye-bye.